Hey everybody, I'm Christy, but a lot of you know me as Callan Jax. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning visitor, welcome back. I am so excited about today's video. This is one of those topics that I just could ramble about for days. I love talking about this, how a smile can change your life for the better. I'm gonna share my personal experience, but I really encourage those of you who have been through this and lost your teeth, got dentures, whether they're removable, snap-in, fixed implant retaining, hybrids, whatever it is you ended up with, if you had a positive experience, please share your story below. I mean, really think about how your life has changed. Not just like the beginning and healing and getting used to it and everything, but things that you can do now that you are not able to do before because that is so motivating for somebody who is just terrified. I want to thank Ivoclar Vivident for sponsoring this video. Ivoclar is a dental manufacturing company. They make a lot of the products that dental professionals use the equipment the the teeth things like what i have in my mouth right now these are the finara's teeth and while we can't buy them directly from ivoclar the dentists and lab technicians and prosthodontists and all of those people that treat us can and they just make really great high quality products but that's not the only reason that i adore this company they're constantly educating people not only are they helping to educate the professionals that treat us but they're really excited to get involved in patient education so i'm honored that they sponsor my content i'm going to leave a link to their website below it is www.morethanadenture.com check it out and learn a little bit more about their company so a few months ago i shared a video titled live Living with rotten teeth and I'm gonna post that up here somewhere so that you can link to that and check that out and it's just basically my story of what life was like living with such diseased teeth in my mouth and here's a picture of what all of that looked like um, mentally physically draining really had a huge impact on the decisions that I made and the path that I took in life now we're gonna get into the good part and that is how my life has been positively affected by getting rid of those diseased teeth and getting dentures that's my first set of dentures um, they were temporary they were just the immediate dentures that were placed right after extractions and there's nothing super fancy about them they're not the greatest but you know comparing these to those over there this restored my smile but it didn't just restore my smile it restored my confidence and so much more after the majority of the swelling went down after i had my teeth extracted and i started to kind of resemble what i looked like prior to extraction i posted my first video on youtube and at the time i literally titled it my first video i don't even know what i went back and changed the title to but i'll link the video up here i wore red lipstick and i sat down in front of the camera and i just kind of talked about what my experience was and why I ended up needing to get dentures. That video was like a milestone moment for me. It's one of those things that kind of set the gears in motion to go on and do bigger things, but just being able to do those two things put lipstick on confidently and talk to a camera knowing that, you know, I'm right here. People, if they see it and I post this, they're going to stare at my teeth and I had nothing to hide. I had nothing to be ashamed of. I could never do that before because I was constantly doing like this, always hiding my, my smile. So right from the beginning, before I was even fully satisfied with the way that I looked because they did need to be adjusted. They needed to be relined. They were a little bit bulky for me. I didn't totally look like myself but I thought, you know what, if I look like this forever, that is still such a huge improvement from what I looked like before. I was just excited again. I couldn't wait to go and buy more makeup, buy more lipstick shades, and see what different colors look like on me. Go clothes shopping knowing that, you know, I'm not gonna try to play up other things and, you know, dress in super revealing clothes to try to distract people from what my teeth looked like. I could finally wear clothes that just suit me. I used to avoid going places. I didn't wanna go grocery shop. I didn't Want to go to the gas station i didn't want to go anywhere and be face to face with people but once i had my smile back i started looking forward to those things to the point that you know where i once was a night owl and i would stay up all night 
and sleep most of the morning. Now I was getting up early in the morning, getting ready and thinking like, where else can I go today? What else can I do? It was like experiencing life for the first time because it was just different. That's something that's really hard to explain. I felt like I had been uncaged. There were no secrets. There was nothing to hide anymore. When I spoke to people, I could speak to them confidently at a normal distance and I was not insecure. I did not worry about if they were looking at my mouth. I had to relearn how to make eye contact with people. I had gotten used to avoiding looking people directly in the eyes because I felt that if they looked me in the eyes, they would see all of the shame, all of the secrets that I had. You know, I've always been big on body language. I research it online to figure out like what different gestures mean and what different eye movements mean and you know the importance of it and what you're communicating to people my body language communicated that i absolutely was hiding something and to whoever i would be speaking with they wouldn't know what it was that i was hiding so then i probably appeared dishonest or insincere but the reality was i was just trying to hide my teeth that's it nothing else and so anything that i communicated was spoken with uncertainty even if i knew what i was talking about and was confident about it. I was too worried about people staring at my mouth. So I did a bunch of research on making eye contact with people again and I started practicing. I started out small when talking to people. I would just make brief eye contact with them and look away until I could build up and get to the point where I could maintain a normal level of eye contact and it felt powerful. I couldn't remember ever feeling that way. Sometimes I was so excited about it that I just, I wouldn't look away and the other person would probably get uncomfortable and they'd look away first. And that made me feel even more confident. I had to relearn how to smile. I was using muscles that I had not used in a long time. And I learned the difference between a real smile where you smile with your eyes and you see all the wrinkles and everything. And then the fake smile that's just like that. I figured out what was comfortable for me. I remember how bad my cheeks hurt in the early days of being a denture wearer because I was just smiling so much. I was exhausting the muscles in my face. I finally felt like I could engage in conversations with people again. You know, I have a wide array of interests. I have a lot of different opinions that I think are fascinating and I love engaging in conversation like deep philosophical talks with people about different topics, um, politics or religion or things like that. And where I once would shy away from even saying anything, not because I didn't want to contribute, but because I was nervous that I was going to look like I didn't know what I was talking about. I was going to look like I was intimidated and that's not how you effectively communicate what you want to say. So I just shy away from things. I started looking for opportunities to engage in conversation with people. I remember when I first started going back to church, we were in a small group setting and I remember the time when, you know, before I would be in a setting like that and the pastor or whatever would try to engage people in, you know, conversation. He'd ask questions and look for opportunities for people to provide feedback. And I always wanted to, cause I always had something to say, but I never did it. But after I got my smile back, Every single time somebody asked a question or what do you guys think about this? I was among the first to speak up and be like, hey, here's what I think. And I would do it confidently because it just felt so good. It felt like I was making up for all of that time in my life that I just felt silenced. I felt like I could not speak. I had no voice. And so getting my smile back gave me my voice back. I felt like I had a place in the world again and that my thoughts mattered. It was just so exhilarating being able to do that. I'd always had big ideas, big plans, goals that I wanted to achieve, but I shied away from them because I was constantly weighing out like, you know, what would happen if I do this? So for instance, I love to travel. I've always felt that wanderlust, like that call to go somewhere that I've never been and be around people that I've never seen before and will never see again and experience different cultures. But then every time I thought that I wanted to go through with it and do it and go on a vacation somewhere outside of my city, I would think, what if I get out there with my husband and we're out to eat and I break off one of my teeth and ruin vacation? I was scared to be too far from home. Our one year wedding anniversary was in April of 2011 and I 
I was about four months into being a denture wearer and we decided that we were gonna go to the mountains. I love the mountains. I used to go to the Blue Ridge Mountains as a kid. It's something that I had wanted to do for years, but I was never really motivated to do it because I was so nervous about what would happen if I was so far from home. What if I broke a tooth? What if I had a toothache? We ended up going to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and I'm telling you, I felt like a bird that had been uncaged. I wanted to go everywhere, see all of the sites, go to all of the stores. We were playing mini golf and riding rides, full on smiling in broad daylight. I could look my husband in the eyes on our wedding anniversary and smile at him. And it genuinely matched how I felt inside. In 2012, I decided I wanted to go back to school. I wanted to go to college. It's something that I had attempted to do before, but it became overwhelming to me because being around all of those people and not being able to contribute to conversations and everything, I just rather avoid it. And I hated that. I really hated that I avoided doing something that I wanted so badly to do. So in 2012, I enrolled in college and instead of sitting at the back corner of my classes, I sat right up front and every time my professors would engage us, I would be among the first to spark up a conversation. I got really close to my professors. I loved it. I loved being in class. I loved walking around campus and meeting other people and not feeling shy, not feeling timid. I just felt free to maneuver. Whereas before it would be me looking down, looking away from people and rushing to get to the next place. I finally went back to work full time and during my interview process, I could look them in the eyes and confidently tell them why I'd be a good candidate for the job. I work in an office and I work closely with my coworkers and it just feels good to be able to form friendships with people. Whereas before I would have shied away and pretended, you know, oh, well, I, I don't like people. I hate people. I never hated people. I just didn't feel good enough for them. I don't have to plan around my teeth anymore. I can go to any restaurant that I want. I can eat any food that I want. And that's not just with my implants, with my dentures, I was able to eat anything that anybody else could eat. So if somebody's throwing a barbecue and they invite me, I know I'm going to that barbecue and I'm gonna eat. I probably would have shied away from it because I knew I'd have to make up all these excuses as to why I'm not eating the food. Oh my God, try these ribs, they're the best. And then me making excuses on why I can't eat them. Of course, I'm not gonna tell them, yeah, I'm sorry, I'd love to try your ribs, but I'm probably gonna lose a tooth in the process. So no, thank you, I'm good. Like I just make up excuses like I'm really not hungry right now unfortunately oh I feel a little bit sick or yeah I'll, I'll give it a try in just a little bit and then just never try these things may seem minor but they're huge and people take those simple things for granted I started appreciating the littlest things I stopped being so avoidant and recluse I wanted to be out and experience life explore the world the mental effort it took to maintain this facade and hide my teeth with that gone I now had so much mental space in my head to explore who I was as a person I started going on hikes I started doing archery and going to bookstores and picking up books on different topics going to different restaurants trying new food I was no longer afraid to try new things I went and modeled by myself at a junkyard photo shoot with a bunch of photographers and models and I didn't have anybody there with me. It was exciting. I felt alive again. I felt pure and total freedom after I let go of my teeth and got dentures. I wasn't in pain anymore. No more abscesses. No more emergency room visits for infected teeth. All of the time, energy, and effort that I put into living with bad teeth, I could now take all of that and apply it to living a better life, improving my quality of life. I feel like people listen to me now. They see me now. They consider me. I'm not somebody that's just lurking around in the background anymore. I don't feel like I'm constantly being judged by people. And a lot of that has to do with how I now feel about myself. I recognize that I was hurting myself more than anybody else could. I was the one that was harshly judging myself. I was the one that was avoiding other people. I was the one that put off doing the things that I love. I realize now that the condition that my mouth was in was like a black hole sucking up all of my extra resources, all of my extra energy. And I'm just so thankful that I found it in me to let it go. So if you wanna know what changed in my life after I got dentures, the answer is 
everything, everything changed. And I know I'm not the only one. These are my absolute favorite stories to read on my channel. Of all the comments that I get, I love hearing the stories about how people ended up finding their passion and joy in life. They went into a different direction with their career. They started bodybuilding. They started dating again and fell in love and got married and had a family. They moved to another state to start over. They finally got the courage to lose the extra weight. They completely redesigned their life. I love those stories. And so if you had a positive experience, please share it in the comment section below. And that wraps it up for today's video. If you found it helpful, make sure that you give it a like. If you're not already, subscribed subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so that you get the notifications whenever I update the channel. I post on Mondays and Thursdays and I try to switch it up. I try to come up with a new topic every time I post and the comments are always wonderful. It's always awesome to hear back from people who are in different stages of their journey. So I definitely encourage you to become a part of the community. I will drop all of my social links in the description box below and I think that that's about it. I will see you guys next time and y'all take care.